Hi everyone, David McDonald from Vitality Fitness Calgary. Today we're going to go over the jackknife exercise. So T-Rex jackknifes, phenomenal exercise for the lower abs. You're also getting some upper body work as well. Also getting some core stability work as well when you're on that T-Rex jackknife. So I'm going to walk you guys through proper technique and form. This is a very advanced exercise. So you want to make sure you have a good base of core strength before you work up to this. First of all, you want to make sure you're really good at those planks. You've done a lot of practice at plank work. You've done a lot of practice with side planks. Um, you're very well versed at leg raises. And you even got to the point where you're doing leg raises with a stability ball. So this is a very advanced exercise. So you want to keep that in mind. Okay, and you want to work up to doing it. So TRX jackknife. We're going to have the hand, or sorry, the feet inside the TRX. Okay, so that's going to be step one. Feet inside. Now step two, we want to make sure that we're lined up with the anchor, so we're not lined up over here, over here, we're straight off the anchor point. I'm going to make sure I'm straight off that anchor, good. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get into a plank. Okay, so in a plank position, very common mistake people will make on these is they'll actually go too far over their wrists and they'll have their shoulders beyond their wrists. So you actually want to have your shoulders just in line with your wrists and maybe just a little bit behind, but not too much. So I'll show you what I mean. The reason why you want to make sure you do this is because if your shoulders are too far over your wrists, you're going to have the tendency to use your shoulders to keep you up in that plank position, and you're going to actually start to recruit your shoulders, especially when you get tired, as opposed to focusing primarily through the core. It's a very common mistake people will make. A very common mistake people will make as they get tired, they'll start to compensate through their upper body. So you've got to have those shoulders just in line with those wrists, if not a little bit behind. I'll show you what I mean here. Next thing we want to make sure we're doing when we're in that plank is we're getting those abs tight, squeezing the glutes, flexing the toes, creating as much tension through the body. So, we're going to get into that plank position. So, we want to make sure we're not too far over, okay, the wrists, which I would be right now. We want to be a little bit back. So that's a really, really good position. Squeezing the butt, squeezing the abs, flexing those toes, pulling the knees into the chest, bringing it back out. Okay, if you want to add a little bit of a hip movement, just to get those lower abs working a little bit more, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, so great exercise for those lower abs. And again, we're not going too far over the wrists, and we're not uh, using the uh, shoulders and the upper body to do the movement. Okay, they should be just there to stabilize and assist us, not to actually do the movement. So, those are the jackknives. Great exercise for those lower abs. Again, you want to make sure you're progressing to this. If you feel that you're ready to take on the TRX jackknife, what I would recommend doing is I would recommend getting in the TRX. And rather than getting into the jackknife right away, practice planking. Okay, so you feel you're ready to at least attempt it, okay, you might be ready to do, you know, 10 reps, 8 reps, wherever it may be, you might not be. If you're close to being ready, start with planking. So start just by going into that TRX and planking while in that uh, high plank position, okay, while on the hands. So that's a TRX jackknife, great exercise for those lower abs and uh, something you definitely want to work up to though. I'm David McDonald from Vitality Fitness Calgary. Thank you for watching.